We're back, fellow knife and outdoor gear enthusiasts. See ya! Jewel, just Jewel, and guess what? Another top 10 video just for you guys. We're just running them off. It's our picks for top 10. Fixed blade. Knives of 2023. Yep, we know some of you have been waiting on this one. So with design, versatility, popularity price, and of course our personal tastes in mind, we're going to get down to business. Personal tastes in mind. That's very important. Very, very high. Starting with number 10. This is the most expensive one on the list. The Cold Steel Republic. Although this carry is higher in price compared to some other uh, in this bracket, we couldn't help but love the toughness. We love it. The look and the USA made quality. Yep. It's one of the few Cold Steel knives made in the USA this year, or any year for that matter, and we had to give them props for the initiative, okay? Even though it is, like you said, a little higher mm -hmm. in price, we felt it was a really amazing knife and it is outstanding quality from Cold Steel. So I had to make the list. Well, it's the first time I can remember everything's under $200. Mm. Except that one, of course. Yeah. That's real close, by the way. It is pretty so. close. All right. So with that, let's hit the specs. Fixed blade is 10 inch overall with a five inch CPM S35BN steel drop point blade, plain edge, jimping, and black iron bond finish. Yeah. The handle is tan micarta scales and a lanyard hole through the extended tang. That's most important. Mm -hmm. Blade comes about 58 to 60 on the HRC scale. Oh, like that. And it's about, mm, if I had to eyeball it, 0.15. Oh, wow. If you had to yeah. eyeball it, the man that drops an egg on his foot. It's yeah, 0.15 it's it's, it's inches thick. Okay, that's exactly what it is. Mm, okay. This carry made in the USA comes with a premium brown leather belt sheath. That's nice. And it's just $224.95 at AtlanticKnife.com. So, we like a lot about this carry. I know C specifically likes the... Usable choil. Yep. Got to have a usable choil. It does. It has got to have a Can't usable. emphasize that enough. To me, that's the only way to use a knife. I don't know. Um, it's not a knife without a What usable choil. do I like about this knife? Yep. Go ahead. Well, there's lots of things, of course. I mentioned this before. Probably shouldn't do this every time because we're just going to reiterate what we've already said. But I like that it has a removable handle. Very important with a knife that, that you would use for uh, hunting purposes. And also, I like how it, over time this is going to wear. And... You may not be able to see it clearly, but the indentations for your finger here on both yeah, I'm sides. Say the ergonomics and of the ergonomics. That's big words. We just use indentations. Yes, we <laughs> and the jimping. Everything seems to be in the right spot, just like it needs to be. Made in the USA. Yeah, it's exactly. like a fair part. That is. And it weighs only like 8.4 ounces, so it's not on the super heavy side, but enough that you can use it in outdoor situations, you know, because you need that little bit of le extra weight and leverage. Mm -hmm. It's an awesome fixed blade. It I really is. like it. All right. I on to nine. Here we go. Okay. And that's the Topps Spirit Hunter X3. Nice. Gangs. You bet it wasn't times three. I'd like to have three of those. I mean, you could read it like that, I guess. The evolved form of the original Spirit Hunter. The X3 shows off many changes. Many. M many. Go ahead. A spine without a swedge for additional tip strength. Two-tone Micarta handles instead of G10 for enhanced comfort, grip, and style. Lastly, the tungsten Cerakote finish replaces the original tumble finish for improved corrosion resistance. All right, so this knife is 9.62 inches overall with a 4.62 inch clip point blade made of 1095 steel. Has a flat grind, plain edge, the tungsten Cerakote finish, and 0.125 inch thickness. Handle on this one is the Odor Green Micarta with the black liners. It also has the lanyard hole and paracord lanyard. The Spirit Hunter includes a brown leather belt sheath with dangler. So, for those who like the dangler, woohoo for you. If you don't, sorry. So, it comes with also a ferro rod and top survival whistle. It's designed by the great, and I'm going to put that in there this time, the great. Leo Espinoza, and made right in the USA. Stick scary is only $149.95. How do you like that? Oh, I, that's good. That's a price drop. Dropping it. All right, go ahead. I'll let you go first. What do you want me to say? Say what you love about this knife. I love that it has a usable choil. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, you know, it's very similar to this knife here, except it's not as beefy in the handle. A little very slim. Handle, yeah. But it has the ergonomics on the belly of the knife uh, cut into the blade and into the scales. 
which gives it a nice fit. I like the kind of fit. scales part too. Um, could use a little jimping probably on Some top. Some people don't like the jimping on top. Some tops. people don't yeah. like jimping. So, I love jimping. You know, I do too. I think it's uh, it has a good use and you kind of need it sometimes. I almost consider it well, I don't know if I say mandatory. It's almost. Almost mandatory. Almost, yeah, because I have so many knives that I, I probably have things that don't have jimping. Yeah, yeah most definitely. But like it's a good blade, size though. also. Um, I'm going to say it one more time. It will never replace. <laughs> No, the I Tom Brown tracker. I always got to go back to the Tom Brown tracker. Come on, this has the recurve blade, okay? Yeah. Tops makes great recurve blades, okay? It like lengthens the edge without increasing the length of the blade itself. Slicing is way easier with more edge. It's excellent for like rope or twine cutting, you know, if you're on a farm or something like that. You can also go if it's on the larger side, which one, this one's kind of maybe a little bigger. You can do brushwork with it, you know, clear foliage, stuff like that. Downside, recurve blades, a little harder to sharpen. Mm. But other than that, this knife is amazing, okay? It and is. it's made in the USA. I mean, no surprise from Leo, you know, the design's awesome. I think the US thing is just a bonus. And then you get the ferro rod, the dangler sheath, and the survival whistle, okay? Come on. Come you on. You just like the extras. I do. I like the extras. I want to get more for my money. What's number eight? If we're hitting number eight, that's the Buck Brahma. Ah. Oh. There it is. Can signal with it. You know what? That knife could have been made yesterday or 1974. That's probably true. Well, I love best about this. There's a buck there. It looked good then and it looks good now. Well, it's true. You know, First knife on the list to have more than one option. Dice. Comes in black and brown. We have the black one, of course. 8.75 inch overall with a four and a half inch 420 HC stainless clip point blade. Stay a satin finish, wow. plain wow. edge, Could, what are you and fuller. I'm not doing anything. You are too. The handle is black. What's that word? Phenolic. Phenolic. Whatever. Resin. Resin. Yeah. Holds up really well to impact damage and resists stress fractures. Yep. That's what the important part it is. is. Fixed it. carry also has an aluminum guard and pommel. Mm -hmm. So it comes with the black leather belt sheath here. So hold on one second. Sorry, I was a little out of frame. Camera girl's yelling at me. I know, I'm sorry. There you go. So made in the USA. Gonna have to go with the Buck Brahma. It's just $74.99 from thelandknife.com. Mm. Buck Brahma. All right, so we made this one number eight because it's extremely popular. And it reminds us of old buck, you know, buck of old. It's 120s. Got the, yeah, it's got the quality. It's a very long-term use knife. It's excellent for hunting. And it's got a durable blade. It's also good edge retention. And stainless, of course, made in the USA. Only adds to the greatness. Mm. See, what do you think? Well, you know I like it because I have a buck 120. Yeah. And this is basically a smaller version. I do like how the guard is oversized. It looks kind of, it looks a little awkward when you look at it from this direction. But for your hand, it's like you have a full handle with a good small blade that you can use to pretty much do anything you want. Uh, you don't really need jimping on this one. Now that one, the way my finger fits on it, it fits on it nicely and it doesn't have the opportunity to slide because my knuckle is at the, the, guard. the guard anyway. And with your hand down on the bottom of the pommel, oh. there's nowhere to go. So I like that part. Um, like, yeah, it's buck. It's Always buck. has a nice sheath. Mm -hmm. That's important. I mean, you're talking 75 bucks for USA made. I know. Can't beat that. Um, why wouldn't you have one? Exactly. I know a lot of people consider it the old guy's knife anyway. Yeah. But, yeah, no. I, I get it. I understand. Yeah, but classic never does. But once you have one, you have one. Uh, that's for okay. life. It's great. For life. Mm-hmm. What is, what is, I can't remember what he does for four life. I can't remember. All right, go ahead. Do I have to go next? Yeah. Cause... Oh, wow. And like that. It's number seven. Yes. New brand, Shed Knives. Yes. U.S. Tonto. U.S. Tonto. 1.3. Mm -mm. Though they're a relatively new company, and knives had us wanting more. Believe it or not, we do. We're trying to order more. Yep. Both of us love the size and thickness of this blade, and the <sighs> fact that they're manufactured in Delaware. Just having and using this knife makes it much sweeter. Yep. I'm in complete agreement with him. I know. This carry is so worth money because of what you get for the price. So let's, I'll, I'll give you the specs so you can see what I'm talking about. So this carry is eight inches overall with a three inch 154cm steel Tonto blade with plain edge, hollow grind, jimping, and stonewash finish all the way around. Blade is 0.5 inches thick. 
and wow. comes with about 5860 on. See, I was letting you do the it, HRC and scale. You already did it. Yeah. Jeez. Five point five. That's half an inch. I know. It's a lot of blade. It a lot is, of steel. It's a lot of steel. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Removable Macarta Mokar scales comes in a variety of Macarta colors: black, orange, coated tan, OD green, Tiffany blue, or day glow yellow. Unfortunately, right now we only have the black. I'm trying to get the others. Yeah. Hopefully, the new year will bring some more shed. And it also comes with a black Kydex belt sheath, so there you go. Mm -hmm. It takes you out to the shed with the Shed USA Tonto, just uh -huh. $110.70 from alandknife.com. That's know, a throwback. 100 years old, I take it out behind the shed. It was a throwback to a previous episode, but yeah. it's okay. All right. Throwback. Chris is friends. Can't okay. beat that one. Go ahead. All right. What do you think of that knife? Oh, wow. What do I think about it? Well, I think that, I don't know what the word is. Amazing. Is it rudimentary? Is that the word you use? Dawson. Is that the word you use for like minimalist? Yeah, something like that. Um, simplistic. Simplistic. I like that. The simplistic design <laughs> really just does this knife good. I mean, it. You don't have to have something that's shiny, and you can continuously polish the bottom, yeah. no matter how much you scratch it up. Um, I mean, this knife just Got works. The stone wash, so you really basically have a hunk of metal with some a little bit of a handle and there you go it's a hunk of metal. and it's really all you need it's got the jimping on this one that you need if you want to use it in this direction which is important to me because i use it more than one way and it fits my hand nicely which is most yeah, important yeah you gotta be careful and you can put a hole in the table you could put a hole in the with table. the uh the butt here yeah i love this knife for all those reasons you just said i mean it's massive look I me mean, look at that look at this mm-hmm it's a hunk of metal. I mean, come on. You can see why we like it. Obviously. Can't beat that. Yeah. All right. Let me go next. Yep. Number six. The knife occupying that spot is the Topps Idaho Hunter. Wow. Yep. Wow. I know. Adam went Panera. That's okay. Okay. What? <laughs> no. If we were going to put the Panera on any list, it would be the top ten neck knives. Oh, yeah. I would call that one That's a right. neck knife. So you All right. I'm trying to hate so on our number six, and we pre-agreed on these. Tops made it twice. We read again. this. Yeah, they could have made it three or four times. They Probably. Always yeah. But everyone should know the quality of Tops releases. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they do it at such reasonable prices, and prices are important, mm -hmm. even though they're made in the USA. I know. I still managed to keep them low. It's amazing. So the Idaho Hunter is a new version of a classic. It's got some minor changes, but our favorite part is the bronze midnight. Finish. Mm -hmm. So, Idaho Hunter is 10 inches overall with a 4.75 inch 1095 drop point blade with flat grind, plain edge, 0 0.19 inch thickness. Comes to about 56 to 58 on the HRC scale. So threw them all in for you. Handle has black canvas micarta scales, white liners. Wow. Lanyard hole through the extended tang. Comes with black kydex sheath, survival whistle, most important to jewel, mm -hmm. and rotating spring steel clip yeah. weighs just eight ounce out of the sheath 11 ounce in this carry makes processing game food prep around the camp and any other outdoor task a walk in the park yep. in central amen and it's just 139.84 from alandknife.com mm -hmm. so it's not only practical why are you laughing i now? laugh at practical every time go oh ahead oh my gosh okay but the design is so ready for outdoors and you it has you in the outdoors in mind i mean you could it's got the usable twill again. It's got this large handle with this big blade. Even if you don't live in Idaho, this knife will serve you well regardless of your locale, okay? I personally, I think it's up there with the Silent Hero for almost. It's like right below it because I really like this knife. I like hmm. the black canvas Macarta liners. I like the white liners, the black handle, the midnight. Silent Hero. It just looks awesome. And it's got the jimping at the top. So you can choke up on the blade if you want. It's just <clears throat> nice. And I could see that. For those that don't like the jumping all on top of the top, then it's just, just a little bit. Mm. Just a little bit. Go ahead. Well, I mean, it has a nice blade shape. Not quite the blade shape of the Silent Hero 4. Not quite. Choil is usable, but, you know, but it has this. And it, it's in line perfect with the jumping. So Clearly, me, obviously, I'm the one who made it on here now. <laughs> so to me, this works great. <gasps> Did you hear that fake, fake laugh there? I would, and you know what? I, I will not Tom Brown Hunter. You know, I could also do that 
to the Republic. Yeah, but you did. I could do it to the Cold Steel anytime. But you didn't. Because I'd never beat that Bushman. But you didn't. You know, because the Bushman's like a twenty dollar knife nowadays, and you know, it's just. I don't know. Okay, back to this knife. Uh huh. Uh, design is awesome. I love the coloring of it. That's kind of weird it's my because thing too. This is this bronze Cerakote? Mm -hmm. Okay, so the bronze Cerakote Midnight goes bronze. well with the black and the white. scales, yeah. especially as they're done, and the design of the scales, as okay. you can see it's in there. Bugging me. So, oh yeah, a little oil on it. A little hair. Oh, I got you. So I like this knife also. I, I would wouldn't mind carrying it. I mean, I why not? All day, every day. It doesn't beat the rapid strike, but it's pretty close. It's pretty oh, really see close. See what you did there? It doesn't beat the big leaf, but I like <laughs> it. You know what? African no, Bushman. That's not Sorry. even an equal comparison. <laughs> no. Big Leaf is like this big, and you're like talking about a top. Big, big Leaf is my all around. We know. It's your I, I can favorite. use it to do whatever I need to. Except you can't, you know, cut a box with that. No, but you can spank a pig. <laughs> is that what they're going to use a Big Leaf for? Is that really what you're using it for? Well. Yeah, I'll bet. I'll bet. Just. I, I so badly yeah, we're want down. to go. We're down hunting for uh, wild pigs we're down to the final five all right but first make sure to like share comment and subscribe as well as ring that bell that way you get notified when new content drops mm -hmm. along with recent released ak blade episodes and so you get automatically entered in giveaways right now we're giving away last year's fixed blade king the tops sasbo express double-edged that's the best one enter here or double your chances by becoming an ak member via the link down below. It's the very bottom. Can't miss it in the description. Yep. We'd also like to congratulate Richard Burns, 3543, or just Richard Burns. Yeah. I know YouTube slapped the numbers on all well, of us. Did it. You were the first to put the pyrite. He put CRJB, which uh -huh. I've done that a hundred times. I've done it myself. Exactly. So won't hold spelling against you, but congrats to you. You can claim your free specialty t-shirt by emailing sales at alandknife.com. Which one is it? Yet? Um, Which one? I don't care. I don't know. All right. Whichever one that Let Wendy to... know. Just yeah. send it in there and she'll hook you up. You got to tell them size, right? Yeah, just tell us your size. Don't go bigger than 2X, please. No, you probably don't need to. You probably don't. Yeah. And we're on to number five. All right. Spartan <laughs> Blades. RC yes. Fighter. Yes, yes, yes. Look at that. Go ahead. Can't hide how popular this knife is or how much we like it. Another made in the USA fixed blade that we also featured on our top ten best USA made knives video. If you didn't see it, check it out. Blow your mind. Will. So the Spartan Harsey line itself is awesome. But this one in particular has C's eye. Yeah, I like this one because, oh, I can't show them the next lines no. yet. Out of the knives that are, you know, really usable hunting knives, this is number two, by far. Um, everything about it I like. I like how it's designed. I like the shape of the blade. It's very um, standard, what you would use over the years. The handle is removable. Can't beat that. And it uh, doesn't have the... But it has jimping on the spine of the blade, but down towards the handle scales itself, which will work out great in this. So if you'd be using the reverse carry, yeah, you'd be for good. For stabbing that pig, you know. Man, I tell you. Reverse carry. That's what's wrong with me go to pig town. Thing. So... I really like the fighter, but you have to take into account the Nesmoke and Kukri. You can't overlook those because they're just as good and like the same high quality and design. You want to give the specs C? Yeah, they did do a good job. You know, the Kukri is not my favorite, but if you take them as a collective whole, wow. should buy all three. Yeah. So I got this. Here we go. This carry is 11 half inch overall, the 6.125 inch 1095 Crovan steel spear point blade. I wonder where they got that from. Mm -hmm. Which sports a black powder coated finish, plain edge. A collab between K-Bar and Spartan Blades. This knife is built to stand the test of time. Handle is black contoured, injection molded with the lanyard hole. Yep, designed by William W. Harrisy Jr. This fixed blade tool has a, looking for it, oh, it's right next to me, sorry, see? Has a black belt sheath with the release lever, and I really like the, there it is. the jimping there because it, just helps you even more to take off the sheath. Mm -hmm. You can find it for just one twenty seven eighty four at AtlanticKnife.com. One final thing, I love this sheath. She loves the release I love button. the knife, but I love the sheath. I can understand that because... When you're out there, you don't want to have to, like, screw around with it. Well, and you a just lot of wanna... times when we're just in here, you'd be surprised how many times we get new knives and you can't get them out of the sheath. Yeah, we've had... It's not because problem. you're weak. 
it's just like, wow. Sometimes, I'm not saying you recommend this, but sometimes we have to hit them on the table. I know. And it's like, what are you guys doing the with release, the sheets? And you think to yourself, is this 2013? Yeah, no, should, it's 2023. We should be able to get stuff out of sheets. Should be able to get out of sheets. Exactly. But I think it's a great idea. So, exactly. I'm sure people have done it before, it. but yeah. she loves they, it on They this. do what they do it best. Give us four. Okay. Number four. And that is the Essie Sensilio. That's my doing. Yeah. Comes in A2 tool steel, which I loved until the magnet cut came out. I still loved it, but I like this one more. That's great. We choose this carry as a number one USA made knife for this year, and for good reason. SE is so popular and they can take a beating while still maintaining their quality. Great knife, great price, great bargain. Yep. So the SE Sensilio has a 3.05 inch drop point blade with stone wash finish, flat grind, and plain edge. Mm -hmm. Handle has the brown McCarty scales, which you can take off, and a lanyard hole. Oh, wow. Designed by Jeff Brandel, this knife comes with a black Kydex sheath and starts at $143.95. Bam. Atlanta.com. For the A2 one. Oh, I knew that was coming. I just had to put that out there because some people got confused about the last one, so I'm just trying to be straight this time. So, Magna Cut 1 is $168.95. Atlanta.com. There you go. So, we don't need to rehash why this one is awesome, okay? Because... We did it in the top 10 and it made number mm -hmm. one. So obviously that should speak for itself. But it's made in the USA. The size that everyone likes. Essie. Essie makes amazing. Great all around Survival knife. knives. Exactly. And it's got the Matic Cut Steel. Carry it Very daily popular. If you want. Exactly. You can carry it all day, every day if you want. Because right. something like this, you probably won't carry mm. it every day. But this Not one. Not unless you live around here. <laughs> Need we say more about the essay? I don't think We're so. here. <laughs> That's great. Great. Ready? Great. Like that. The final cut, number three. And that is the Beg Knives Velocio Dagger. Yes. You can, you choose, can choose from two different sizes. Why are you trying to steal them? I don't know. Jeez. I was just. Uh, I know, you just kept right on. It's like. Big and bigger. Real <laughs> bulldozed. You, you're a bulldozer. That's what you are. A can't set bulldozer? You're, no, you're oh, a bulldozer. Vince Vaughn. Mm -hmm. So, she 11... wants a hot dog. Get her a hot dog. Hey, hey you want a hot dog? Baby one, Pass it 12. on down. 12 minutes. All right, so 11.5 inches, and then there's a 13.5 inch option. They didn't. They went cold steel on us. They're like not small and large. 11.5 inches and 13.5 inches. That's it should be. Good job, Todd. And from there, you can narrow it down to the satin, black finish, or gray finish. All right, so we have the 13 and a half inch one with the gray finish. Mm -hmm. So the double-edged dagger style blade is 8 inches. Made of 1095 steel and sports a gray finish along with a flat grind and plain edge. Handle is black G10 with built-in lanyard hole. Yep, so the satin option has OS 10 steel for those, you know, need to know. Comes with black, I do this all the time, black Kydex belt sheath with the belt loop. And fun fact, the little circle indentation here is of Todd Begg's finger. I know, Todd knows how to personalize things, don't he? The little holes are so him. That, that's actually him. So they started just 99 from alanknife.com. So the 11.5 inch overall is 99 from alanknife.com. There you go. You know what I just realized? Yes. I can't ever recall anybody in my entire life putting a lanyard on a dagger. Well, now there's a lanyard on a dagger. I could see you, like, if you were wearing this on your side riding a Harley. That you'd have one of those big, long, corded braids hanging off of it. That's great. Um, That's great. What can you say Todd about this? Todd would be like, okay. Wow. I mean, it's even today, I've seen it a hundred times. And it is. there can only be one. Exactly. Um, and it is almost sword-like. It's, uh, it is tremendous. I mean, it's practical. <clears throat> but. We're talking about practical. Double-edged, perfectly cut. I mean, it's it's an awesome, awesome knife, and I don't see why you wouldn't want one. Exactly. So. I love this carry. Double-edged dagger has just Jules' name all over it, mm -hmm. along with Todd Beggs. I guess we can share. But it's good for the price, it's sharp, and it, it's really what I'd want if I was going. I think this one, I think the larger one's like 108 I think. Yeah, don't it's quote a me. few bucks. Yeah, but... That's the small one? No, this is the I was one. I say. This is the wow. 13.5 one, this one. Oh. Yeah, quit 
That's that's the large. Yeah, that's the mini. It's a mini, 11.5. Okay, yeah. I just this knife is awesome. And I will say that our top list popularity side, purchasing. Yeah, and our personal that taste weighs in more than anything. That's that's like a, a weighted point. If people are calling constantly and wanting this knife and buying it right and left, then who am I to say, well, you know what, this knife's better. I mean, that's crazy. This one. There's a knife, people. I'm a knife person. I'm a knife person. They know as much as person. I do. Exactly. So, at least All they right. tell me they do. Well, that's true. They must. Go ahead. On to number two. Can you believe this? Go ahead. Can you believe this? Yes. Do it. George Raider Dagger. Yes. Mm-hmm. Another Spartan Blades knife has made its way on the list again. I know. So tops and Spartan Blades really hammer them out. I think they've done this before. I think they might have when they did the la la la. You're supposed to. And something. I can't yeah. remember what it was. I know they made it twice with the folding knife with the Shoto and something else. Uh, uh, I can't remember which one it was. Not the Enyo. No, I don't remember. Talos. Um, something like that. Wow. Okay, same thing with this one. Size is awesome. What I like about this one is it's more traditional. Um, you know, it's made in Taiwan. Did you move Taiwan. your hand because you think I was going to stab you? I didn't know what you are doing as I put it behind me. I was handing it to you. I thought I was this is an stab awesome you. knife. Don't get me wrong. It's a good size. But this is a traditional dagger. And Les George did an awesome job designing this. I love the handle style. I love how thick it is and then how thin it is that you would find and a dagger. And of course, then you got the price. Exactly. I mean, you know, 104. Can't beat that. Go ahead. Let's give them the specs. All right. 12 inches overall, 7 inch SK5 double edged dagger blade with black powder coated finish and plain edges. There's a black injection molded handle, guard, and belt sheath. Hmm. Designed by Les George and made in the USA. That was me. You can procure a George Raider Dagger for you with the sheath today. or a friend. It's got to be a good friend, too. It's 104. Ah, uh, you know, 10484. How about a brother? Is that a brother? Brother that you like or a brother that your mom married into the family? Wow. You do that with people you don't even like. You know, the brunch relatives out of town. Mm, I have a problem with paying people lunch and stuff that I don't like. You have a problem paying at all. No, that's not true. 10484 from landknife.com. So, we mentioned that there was going to be a few daggers on the list from our previous video, and we did not disappoint, obviously. So, although I might not use this knife, I can definitely see the appeal of having one. Mm -hmm. I mean, I can see it on my mantle. I can see it in like a little little stand, a little nice, like a, one of those nice wooden um, cherry wood stands and like a glass cabinet. Oh, it would look so good. You know where I can see it? Hmm. Stabbed into the back of a stuffed no. wild boar. Why is with you in the pigs? <laughs> Just right out the top. Pigs and boars, I mean, look out. You know, a little blood rolling down the handle. Oh, Not yeah. real blood. Not Because that would be obviously. cruel. <laughs> like a green, not a real, mm -hmm. not a real fur jacket. No. I don't, I don't see it inside of a pig. Okay, all I know is that I can see this knife on my mantle, and I love the design, the size, and the narrow profile of it. But it doesn't feel small when you're holding it. This all has me saying yes to the dagger. Yeah, I agree. Yes, dagger blades were yes. commonly used in, of course, military combat type scenarios, mm -hmm. which. Hopefully we won't need. Hopefully. The design is meant to be versatile, easy to handle, and quick to deploy and use. So obviously you won't be carrying this around to cut boxes open. Or maybe you are. I don't know. Maybe your workplace is all like, bring the dagger, sure. All right. With Guess the, what? Takes us number one. Arrived. You guys are going to love this. They are. <laughs> we've arrived at number one. So our number one pick for the best fixed blade for the year 2023 is, see, give me a drum roll. No, I don't do that. Oh, okay. One of the women do that. Oh, wow. The Sog Bayonet. There it is. All yeah. right. We couldn't get over how massive this knife was. Not just in overall length, but in width. The thickness of the blade, the sturdy construction, the way it would look on your AK, which yeah. is important. So what did you like best about it? Oh, my gosh. What did I like about it? The price. Price is one thing. Price. Two, just, uh, I mean... It's hard to find a bayonet knife that really works in that price range. And second of all, it's actually usable. So, you know, Tanto version's nice. I like that. 
um, you can take it pretty much anywhere and use it for anything. Exactly. So, yeah. Maybe you wouldn't carry it locally, obviously. Yeah. Unless you're going to the bank. Obviously, yeah. you need a SOG bayonet to go to the bank. You just might. Depends how much your overdraft fees are. She, she did not give me the correct chains last time. She was a penny off. Mm. Unfortunately, neither one of us was able to snag one before we sold out. But we're still going to give you some space. He wasn't able. We just forgot. I didn't think they were going to be so back by now. sold so quickly. And I thought, you know what, I, I'll, I'll snag one when it comes back. And I hadn't come back. Yeah. So we're going to show you the specs from a previous video. And that's um. Next carry is the SOG Bayonet Bar 15T. Ah, my favorite one so far. That's great. Only That's one great. option, but on. how many options of bay ho, ho, ho. bayonets do you need? I don't think you need many. Go I ahead. take four. You take four? Yeah, they fit on ARs, right? Mm -hmm. Can't beat that. That's great. The fixed knife is just under 12 and a half inch overall, but really who cares about that? Seven inch Tanto blade. That's what we care about. <sighs> Made of Voss 8 steel, black finish and plain edge. It's got a blade guard, barrel ring. AR compatible attachment. Right there. You know you want to put one on the end of it. You know That's you great. want to. That's great. I want to. I want four right now. Blake, black G10. Nice handle. beefy handle. Yeah. Wow. And a black Kydex sheath, which, you know, unless it fits on there while it's on the well, AR, I don't like really care. If you're in the car, you can take your knife off and still keep the attachment on there. And then when you get out, you can just clip it on. You're going to ride around in the car with that? No, you have just this piece on there. This will stay in the sheath. And then when you get out, you just... Oh, snap it back on. Snap it back on. Well, where we're going with this, we ain't going to have a call. $79.99 from alandknife.com. Thanks, past us. Yep. Overall, we felt this deserved the number one spot because of what you got for $79.99. I, I don't know. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm sure I look good, though. Mm -hmm. From alandknife.com. I had to tell you the price, even though we don't have it, just in case. Mm -hmm. So it's 12.2 inches overall. It's got the 7 inch Ossay Tonto blade with guard, barrel ring, black finish, amazing thickness, along with the black Hydex sheath that came up with the belt buckle attachment. You can't get that kind of quality nowadays and bulkiness for the price, okay? So SOG really outdid themselves with that. I was mm -hmm. really surprised because I thought after the GSM outdoor debacle, I thought they weren't going to be able to maintain their quality, but the, but it was amazing, okay? Well, they should personally thank those veterans who did the design. Why are you you're talking about me being pessimistic? You're like, <laughs> let them just dive bomb themselves. Come on. Obviously, we Disney. weren't the only ones to feel this way about the SOG bayonet because we sold out. I'm going to right to the moon, Alice. <clears throat> right to the moon. Oh, wow. Wow. You talk about me dating myself. Uh, oh, Ooh. do I look like I'm from what? That, that the era? 50s. Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay, Norton. Well, that was our top 10 fixed blade knives of 2023. Make sure to hit those like, share, comment, and subscribe buttons, as well as ring a ding ding that bell. That's just one too many dings. That way you're linked to AK and get access to our videos and announcements first. Yep. Well, also being automatically entered into giveaways, such as. The one we're hosting right now, the Tops Zazbo giveaway. Oh, wow. Ledge. Yeah. All right. Which one's your favorite? Veloso Dagger. Is it really? No hesitation. Veloso Dagger. How often do I do that? Zero. Probably. Is that your two? That's my two. That's you know three. What? That's four. I'm really like up in the air on Five, all of them. Six. I am a Silencio fan. Seven, eight, but nine. I am going to bring back all the old schools out there and go. What? Buck Brahma. What? I'm surprised Look at you. that. Yeah, I am too. Shed Tonto is the actual answer. Oh, okay. It's my favorite. <laughs> oh I like them go. guys right there. Right yep. there. Boom. Don't pick up the tops. I like the tops. I actually liked all of them. So. I like this one a lot too. Yeah. It's my second. I want it in Tiffany blue, guys. Bayonet. You hear me, Shed pick, Knives? Pick it up, I so. will take one of these with the Tiffany Turn. blue scales and try to engrave Just Jewel on there. I'm pretty sure you make them I will. I will. Uh, What's that? What they when they take the, the poker and they I will brand shed knives on me. Oh. Tiffany blue, just jewel right, right on the blade. You're gonna brand it on her. <laughs> With knives. that, sorry, knife. I'm seeing this was jewel, just jewel. And she's having a yabba dabba do time. Wow. And we're signing off.
He's George Jetson. <laughs> his his boy, boy, Elroy. Boy. Jane. Jane, his wife. There's three, there's three lemons here, Gary. <laughs> what am I supposed to do with three lemons? I'm sorry. Go ahead. We on? Yeah, we were What on. are the three bears again? We bear bears. We bear bears. Yeah, that one is Ice Bear, the white one with the axe. And then Grizz is the, the, the brown bear. We're going to call it a marshmallow. Is that what it is? I can't see this. It could be a sandwich. You really like sandwiches. I forgot Joel's name. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's do it. It wasn't knife of the year like the Tom Brown Hunter was about, I don't know, 16, 17. I can't even tell you how many years ago. Okay, back to this knife.